When working with a SQL database, it is important to recognize the term database is used in two different ways. CockroachDB is a physical database. It is a piece of software deployed to some physical hardware that makes up your relational database. Separate instances of CockroachDB can be deployed to multiple pieces of hardware and then linked together to form a database cluster. However, inside of that physical database, you can create multiple logical databases. A logical database is essentially a collection of tables and other database objects that are grouped together within your relational database. For example, we may have a series of database tables related to users. We can group these tables together under a logical database. The logical database may live on one or more instances of your physical database. In fact, you can even create copies of the logical database to live on completely separate deployments of the physical database. For example, you might have separate clusters for development and production. Both of these clusters might host a copy of the user's database. Traditionally, a single logical database was often used in order to contain the tables for an application. This approach is powerful because it allows you to create queries that have access to any information they might need. However, if you aren't careful, it can lead to inflexibility as the database grows. It can be difficult to understand all of the places where a particular piece of data might be used. If you need to change that data, you may find yourself following a maze of queries trying to sort out what parts of the system you will be affecting. Logical databases are a popular way to segregate the data according to domain boundaries and reduce database complexity. When that separation is maintained, it can help to alleviate the inflexibility of the database, but you lose the capability to do queries across those boundaries. Microservices take this a step further. They segregate not only the database, but the application itself. Each microservice is an independently deployable unit that is backed by its own database. This is where the differentiation between physical and logical databases becomes quite important. Two microservices should never share the same logical database. However, they may share the same physical database. Be careful though, if you go down this road, maintaining that separation is critical. If you start letting your microservices bleed together, you'll lose the autonomy of those services. This in turn sacrifices many of the key features of microservices, such as scalability and maintainability. One of the powerful aspects of microservices is that not only can they have separate logical databases, but they can also have separate physical databases where appropriate. In other words, you can have one microservice backed by a relational database, such as CockroachDB, and a separate microservice could be backed by a NoSQL database. This is known as polyglot persistence, and it allows microservices to be optimized for very specific use cases. Polyglot persistence isn't limited to microservices. It can also be implemented in a monolithic application, but it tends to be more popular with microservices. However, be wary. Deploying a new physical database is an expensive endeavor. You potentially need to allocate hardware and install software. Even if you use a serverless database, you may still need to train developers and administrators on its usage. You also need to monitor and maintain that separate physical database. On the other hand, creating a new logical database is almost free. As a best practice, favor creating logical databases over physical wherever possible. This will help to reduce your initial setup costs and your long-term maintenance burden. It is a trivial operation to create a new logical database. The SQL command is create database. When you execute it, you provide it with the name of the new logical database. Once you've executed the command, you can see the results by running show databases. Your newly created database should show up in the list. When designing your database, you should strongly consider subdividing your domain into separate logical databases, even if you choose to use a monolithic style application. Maintaining good separation in your data can help prevent the infamous spaghetti code that plagues many legacy applications. Mm -hmm.